Call the Jackson County Board of Commissioners meeting for November 19th to order. This time I'll rise for the Pledge of Allegiance and invocation by Phil Dunham. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Madam Clerk, could you please call the roll? Yes, Mr. Chair. Present. Commissioner Baird? Present. Commissioner Walls? Present. Commissioner Kennedy? Here. Commissioner Duckham? Mm. Commissioner Tompkins? Here. Commissioner Mahoney? Here. Commissioner Williams? Present. Commissioner Elwell? Here. Chairman Shotwell? Here. All present. Thank you. You're welcome. Entertain a motion to approve the agenda. Support. I have a motion in support. Any questions? Deletions, additions? Hearing, hearing nor seeing none, all in favor, please say aye. 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 Those opposed? Duly carried. We have no awards and recognition at this time. Communications and petitions could be please presented to the clerk. Seeing none, we have no special orders or public hearings. We've arrived at the first opportunity for public comment. <clears throat> Each individual will state their name and have three minutes to address the board. You may only address the board once under this public comment opportunity, and you may not yield your time to others. Board members will not debate or answer questions at this time. Public comment. Good evening, John Wilson, 1045 South Durant Street, City of Jackson. Uh, first of all, good evening, Phil. First of all, the uh, I'd like to say I haven't been in front of the board in uh, some time, but uh, kudos to the to the county commission and uh, fair board, uh, county parks for a great job with uh, Keeley Park, former fairgrounds, and I'm sure it's only going to get better. Second, even before the American One Event Center is open, County Administrator Overton is working on opening up the second floor and making it into a grand ballroom. This will be a public venture. This grand ballroom, owned and operated by the county, will compete with all the other private venues out there that uh, have the same type of uh, venue for proms, receptions, weddings, parties, etc., Christmas parties, black tie affairs. So the county now will be competing. Well, let's back that up. So this, these private venues will now be competing with two county venues, the American One Event Center, and now with the vision of County Administrator Overton, this grand ballroom located on the second floor. So you're going to be competing with Bella Note, the new Burka restaurant, Gene Davis and Sons, Commonwealth Commerce Center. Isn't that special? I'm sure they wish they had the tax dollars to spend on their venues, just like you're spending here, 
with uh, your new venue, Mr. Overton. You know, why not? Just open up a uh, shoe store right next to Miller's shoe store. A county owned and operated shoe store. Or how about a county owned and operated shopping center, which would have a nice uh, supermarket to compete with uh, other supermarkets here in the county. Or why not even buy a couple garbage trucks and compete with, uh, with Emmons and Modern Waste? Why stop at just a grand ballroom? Okay, thanks. I hope you guys discuss this and consider it and stop it. Thank you. I'm just waiting for somebody else to break the ice. Uh, good evening. I'm John Felveri, the airport uh, board chairman, uh, Jackson County Airport. And uh, we have a number of items on the agenda tonight, and that's one reason I'm here. But primarily the reason I'm here is there's been a significant uh, changeover amongst the commissioners that I see before me. And uh, it's been a while since I've appeared before you, and i just like to put a... Uh, a face with the name that uh, you see once in a while and uh, with that I plan on uh, making application to uh, for reappointment to the airport board and I certainly ask for your support uh, when that time comes and uh, I thank you for your time and uh, wish all of you a happy Thanksgiving thank you Peter Bormuth, 142 West Pearl Street. I wondered if uh, in the last administrator comments period, if Michael would address how things are going down at the fairgrounds. I'd, I'd like to get an update and all the general public get an update of exactly where we are and if we're in within budget and you know when the next part of the process with the parking lots and the, and the rest of the areas are going to be dealt with. I'd, I'd really like to hear a little more about that because um, I keep hearing rumors that there are problems but I haven't substantiated any of those. I haven't looked into it myself. So if you could just speak to that I'd appreciate it. Any other public comment? Any other public comment? Hearing no more, we will go to item seven, special meeting of standing committees, human services, chaired by Dr. Alan Tompkins. Dr. Tompkins? for nominations please <coughs> if there is any from the nominations report. go ahead and call it all in favor all right there should be only human services members voting at this time and right. you five zero doctor Thank you. Why is that being done? To so that'll be forwarded on to the full board, which will occur later in the meeting. Thank you. Item 8, minutes. Approval of the October 15th, 2019 meeting. So we have a motion in support. Any items for correction? <coughs> Deletions or additions? Hearing nor seeing any, all in favor, please say aye. Aye. Opposed? Duly carried. 
We've arrived at the uh, consent agenda. Entertain a motion. Support. Have a motion and support. Any items for removal first? Hearing none, any general questions to the consent agenda? Seeing none, Madam Clerk, could you please post the vote? Yes, Mr. Chair. Thank you. Consent agenda has passed unanimously. Standing committees, public safety and transportation, chaired by Vice Chairman David Elwell, Commissioner Elwell. Nothing to report, Mr. Chairman. Thank you, sir. Standing committee, chaired uh, general government, chaired by Commissioner Phil Duckham. Commissioner Duckham. Thank you, Mr. Chair. We have no business tonight. Thank you. Thank you, Phil. Standing Committee's Human Services, chaired by uh, Commissioner Tompkins. Dr. Tompkins? Yes. So we have a nomination from the floor for Christopher Christenberry to become the alternate. Any, any other nominations? Hearing none, all in favor? Aye. Opposed? Duly carried. Public seat, Sanitary Court, uh, Board of Appeals, Jack Ripster. Jack Ripster renominated to one to 2023. Any other nominations from the floor? Hearing none, all in favor? Aye. Opposed? Duly carried. And uh, nomination for Lifeways Board, Christine Carlson. Any other nominations from the floor? Hearing none, all in favor? Aye. Aye. Those opposed? Duly carried. Congratulations. Folks, you are on your boards. I, we appreciate and commend you for your service. Mr. Chair, just a yes, sir. Uh-huh. Correct. But Mr. Quisenberry is his own alternate. So, but yes, that public seat would be open. So, and remember, those seats have some prerequisites, I believe. I believe. So, yes. So, if you know of someone, please, please contact us or them and get them to fill out an app. So we have <clears throat> anything else, uh, Commissioner Tompkins? Thank you. We have arrived at item 16A, unfinished business. Do we have any unfinished business to come before the board? Seeing or hearing none. New business, medical care facility maintenance of effort resolutions. Administrator Controller Overton, if you could please explain, and then I'll accept the nominee. Uh, sure, this is a standard practice. We do it every year. It is the monies that uh, we apply to the medical care facility for the maintenance of effort as required by the state. 
We need to pass both resolutions, correct? Please. With that in mind, thank you, uh, Vice Chairman Elwell, and I believe Commissioner Mahoney. Uh, we will be doing resolution for use of post-August 2nd, 2016, tax-appropriated special social welfare maintenance of effort funds first. I assume that's what you made your motion in second for, is that correct? Yes. Now, therefore, be it resolved that this resolution shall be forwarded to the Jackson County Board of Commissioners for their concurrence and agreement as the use of the special welfare MOE fund monies. Post the vote, please. Yes, Mr. Chairman. Two. Phil. Phil, yeah, your nay. Thank you. Entertain a motion for Jackson County Board of Commissioners <coughs> Resolution 11 190. The Department of Human Services Board and Directors Resolution for use of the post 1998 maintenance of effort fund for payment of the bond of Jackson County Medical Care Facilities. So. We have a motion and second. Now therefore be it resolved that the Jackson County Board of Commissioners hereby authorize the actions as requested by the Human Services Board of Directors. Madam Clerk, could you post the vote? Yes, Mr. Chair. Thank you. Passed unanimously. We've now arrived at the second opportunity for public comment. Each individual will state their name and have two minutes to address the board. You may only address the board once under this public comment opportunity may not yield your time to others. Board members will not debate or answer questions at this time. Second round of public comment. Good evening. Christine Carlson, just appointed. I thank you for that appointment and I look forward to this opportunity. Thank you very much for serving. John Wilson ran out of time. I did want to say though, with the uh, you know, if there is such great demand for this second floor grand ballroom, then rather than have the county operate it at taxpayer expense, lease it out at market rates to uh, some entity in the private sector. And again, if there's the demand for it, they'll be knocking on your door, Mr. Overton. Thank you. Good evening, Melissa Callison, LifeWays Board Chair. I just wanted to thank you all for your due diligence and appointment of Christine Carlson to the board. I think with her work experience and life's experience, as well as the parent of an IDD adult, young adult, she'll be a great addition to the board. So I just wanted to thank you all very much. Any other public comment? Any other public comment? Public comment is now closed. Commissioner comments. Commissioner Elwell. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. I several things. I'll be very brief. Uh, first of all, uh, there was a fatal accident on I-94 today. Uh, I don't know any details about who the person was or where they were from, but if we can keep the family in our prayers, that would be a good thing. Also, earlier today, I believe this morning, there was a uh, shooting in the city, Monroe, Two of the city police officers were shot. 
I think both are expected to recover. Suspect, I believe, may have been killed, so uh, I ask that we keep all of those people in our prayers as well. And then lastly, our clerk has been forwarding to us uh, resolutions from other counties regarding uh, House Bills 49, 37, and 38, and Senate Bills 504 and 505. Uh, I typically read all those when the clerk sends them. Uh, and these particular resolutions are about four-year terms of office for county commissioners. Uh, Mr. Chairman knows that I had suggested that many, many years ago. I still believe it's the wisest thing to do. Uh, I believe they were four-year terms at one time, but changed a number of years ago. And I would ask uh, consent of our board to ask that the administrator work on a resolution for us uh, to potentially adopt at our next meeting, whether it's a study session or our regular board meeting. And I'd welcome any discussion on it. Thank you. Any other commissioner comments? Commissioner Duckham? I have a friend, community activist in Napoleon, Avis Campbell, and uh, I hear she's in uh, health distress. Thoughts and prayers, please. Any other commissioner comments? Commissioner Kennedy. I just want to take the opportunity to remind everyone that Sunday... This Sunday, the 24th, from 2 to 4 p.m. at the Michigan Center Eagles Clubhouse, uh, we will be hosting the 6th Annual Grocery Giveaway for any family or individual in need. Uh, no ID requirement, no income requirement. If you know someone that needs help, uh, please send them. Thank you. Commissioner Mahoney. Thank you very much, Mr. Chair. Um, just want to, uh, first of all, definitely say that all those individuals will be in my prayers tonight um, and with their families as well. Uh, and uh, hats off to Commissioner Kennedy uh, for the event that they have going on on Sunday. Uh, I'll definitely make sure that I'll repost that to my social media. Uh, lastly, I just want to say uh, thank you for your persistence. Uh, Ms. Christine Carlson for continuing to apply. I think that uh, your persistence alone impressed me uh, at making sure that you uh, followed up and followed up and followed up until we put you on that board. Uh, and thank you, Melissa, for being here to give her that vote of confidence for, uh, for, for her support as well. Uh, the, the LifeWays board, me and the doc was just up here talking uh, about how rigorous a schedule it is to be on the LifeWays board uh, and how much information you have to learn about. So um, hats off to you for stepping up to the plate and everybody else who uh, uh, steps up to, to be appointed to any board. So that would be it for me. Any other commissioners? Seeing none, in accordance with MCL 15.268, a legal opinion will be discussed. I need a motion. So moved. Second. Madam Clerk, post the vote, please. Yes, Hmm? Phil? Thank you. Passed unanimously. Should go to the, the sixth Support. Aye. Aye.
Davis. Commissioner Kennedy? Yes. Commissioner Duckham? Yes. Commissioner Tompkins? Yes. Commissioner Mahoney? Yes. Commissioner Williams? Yes. Commissioner Elwell? Yes. Chairman Shotwell? Yes. Unanimous. Entertain a motion to adjourn? We have a motion in support. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Those opposed?